despite me living with my parents, I don't feel like I am some days. Well, yeah, that that is kind of accurate. Because with them struggling with their depression, they can't emotionally support me like I need, like tonight. Because dropping out of school is a big decision. Also, I called my grandma and she didn't answer. So it's like, despite me living with my parents, it's like I'm, well, kind of isolated. Which doesn't feel good. Because usually I'm a pretty sociable person. But yet, none of my social people are, like, answering. So it's like I'm completely alone. Which sucks. So. That. It doesn't feel nice. It kind of sounds bratty when I say it. But it's just how I feel right now. My grandma's. And like my mom keeps on saying to write. And I'm like I don't want to write. You know, but I'll just like, I guess, record my stuff and I guess put it out there so I guess other people, you know, can see, you know, what somebody else is going through and hopefully that can help somebody else. So yeah, I'll put my stuff out there so people can, yeah, that's what I've been doing and that's what I'll continue to do. So right now I'm feeling alone and isolated and Fred is still being a bitch and um, I'm, I'm just, I just wanting to talk two people other than the support line I want to talk to someone I know but like no one is answering the phone so I'm I'm just feel like I'm living in kind of like a glass bubble and and I want I want to be let out <laughs> and it's like, someone let me out, please. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it sucks. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll be let out soon. It, it sucks feeling like living in a glass bubble. Or living underwater. Cause, Cause sometimes depression feels like that. It, 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 it's heavy. It's cumbersome. Some people describe it as a black cloud hovering over you. But for me it isn't like that. It's like a heavy weight pressing over you. But it's also lately this dull ache inside your chest. Like, um, like a, you know, like a, your boyfriend broke up with you or something, or like somebody beloved, um, to you died. It's just this encumbersome, this encumbersome, heavy weight, dull ache inside your chest, and this weight. That's really hard to get rid of and I'm picking my nails um sorry you guys I'm gonna get this off me it sucks it really really sucks and sometimes like um, 
the weight lifts or if you're like if you want to use the underwater analogy or whatever you you surface it's probably more of a metaphor i'm not sure you surface for a few and i don't get why people say you can't laugh when you're suffering from severe depression because you can i laugh but I still suffer from severe depression. I'm still having my severe depressive episode when I laugh. So, yeah. And that, that's... And it hurts. And I'm stuck. I need to get out of this apartment because it's triggering me. It's triggering me so hard. All the trauma, all the bad memories. My sister having seizure after seizure. All the times when she did her crazy shit because she lost control. I still get triggered when people raise their voices. For me, it's at least 10 times louder than it, us- than it probably actually is. 